Welcome to Rich Conversations. Right now I'm in Wisconsin on the farm. Uh, over the last couple days, we filmed a short film here. <laughs> uh, can you imagine that? We filmed a short film here over the last couple days. It's been pretty intense. And so as I'm, I'm telling you this now, I'm uh, just kind of reflecting on the time and the experience. We have a fire behind me is what's left of our big bonfire that we had last night. Uh, it's been fun. I've never been part of, you know, filming as like on this type of level. It was really cool. The first day we uh, were trying to get shots around the farm and they have different scenes. And then they filmed a, a few music videos here. And the first night we uh, went out into the cornfield when uh, the sun is setting. <laughs> we had the John Deere tractor out there. We filmed with that. And then uh, the next morning we got up early and we shot by the silos and also in the, uh, another field. And then we shot in the barn. And then the whole thing, the whole like, kind of project was riding on this big bonfire. So this bonfire, what we have, like on the farm, we take brush and like trees and we just like push it together and it, it accumulates over the last like three years. And then we light it and relatives come over, community members, friends, and uh, you know, it's just a big, nice get together. And so part of this short film revolves around this idea of like two crows and a scarecrow. So they created this eight foot six scarecrow and with this big smile on his face. And then we erected it in the middle of the pile. This pile's like 15 feet high of just tree brush. And uh, so Bones and I went, we climbed up top and stuck it in there. And, and uh, at night, everybody was over and we were like trying to get the shot of the scarecrow burning. And uh, it didn't, so we were trying to decide to light it at the, the bottom or the top. So my dad brought in the front end loader and then he scooped me up and then I went to the top with a blowtorch and started the scarecrow on fire. But then it was laid, it was like on fire from the back. So we thought that it was just gonna tip over and we really, it was really important to the film that we get the scarecrow like on fire and its face, but you couldn't see it cause it was the fires from the back. So we were really worried about that. And then my brother, MVP of the day, he comes in with a bucket of gasoline and throws it at the scarecrow. And then the scarecrow just like lights on fire. And then everybody's like, okay, go, go, start shooting, shoot, go. And uh, that was so much fun. And we got the shots that we needed. And uh, this is a really nice camera that we're on. It looks like a movie. Um, and it's been really exciting. It's been really exciting with the guys and just learning. I think it's good to put oneself in a position where you're just you're the inexperienced one you know so like I'm the most inexperienced on set and I'm just helping out where I can so we have a gator it's kind of like a, a golf cart that we use on the farm just hauling stuff back and forth hauling people equipment uh, thinking about like where we could film better and um, you know like on the farm just doing whatever I can, logistics, communicate with my parents. My parents are great. They, uh, we stayed in, in my, my parents' house, my childhood house, and everybody got like their own bed. And, and <laughs> like, uh, my mom made chicken parmesan the first night, and then she made breakfast. Uh, the next day we had uh, bacon, eggs, fruit, kringle, coffee, uh, and then we had taco pie later at night. So we're all shooting and we, we come inside and then we have a nice home cooked meal. Uh, that usually doesn't happen on film sets. And it, it's just a great experience. Like, so I'm on set and hearing the terminology, ta terminology that they're using, you know, they're just like professionals. So it's, it's like opening my mind to just like the work that goes into filming and uh, creating visual art like that. It was, it was great. You know, I just, I just helped out where I could. Sometimes I'd do the fog machine. <laughs>
do the fog machine, but then the fog machine is so inconsistent. Sometimes when I press it, it's not going out. Uh, uh, or sometimes I do the boom. So, so I'm like holding the, the audio and the boom. It was, it was just a lot of fun and the weather worked out good. We were worried about rain and it didn't work. Uh, we didn't have to worry about that. It rained a little bit, but we were okay. Just a great experience. It was just uh, creatively fun to be a part of a, a group or a team and kind of have a goal in mind and just step by step execute that goal. Um, we got these great shots. This, it won't, the film won't come out for another probably like six months or so or half a year, but we got, we got some great stuff and we had a great time just shooting, shooting film around, <laughs> around the farm and just beautiful. We got some, man, some beautiful shots and uh, everybody's wonderful to work with and that's something that's important. We, we, you know, we discussed this. We'd have conversations at night, and like reliability is such a skill and a value. Um, having people you can count on, and also like love being around. Um, if you're able to create that type of environment at home, but also in your work life, life is so much easier. Life is so much easier when you love the people around you and the, the people that you work with and um, kind of humbling yourself to serve others. You know, like, what are you trying to do? Okay, I can help you this way or that way. Um, understanding, having that self-awareness of what you can offer to other people and other groups. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say how much fun it's been, how, how exhausting it's been, I'm not too bad, but I'm also not the one that has to be in front of like camera and performing and like visualizing what we necessarily have to do. I just, you know, I just do my thing <laughs> here on the farm. So uh, yeah, it was a great experience. I'm excited to share it when it comes out and it's just overall a great weekend with a lot of loving people, caring people, family, you know? Um, yeah, life is good. <laughs>